everyone, it's Marcy Denning here from Stampin' with Marcy. I'm an independent Stampin' Up! demonstrator in Canada, and I want to welcome you to my Facebook Live. All right, let's see if you are showing up this time. Yay! Okay, second time was a charm. Um, all right, so let's bring you up, see if I can actually share. I have not been able to share to my stampers group. So uh, please say hello when you join me. Let me know where you're coming from. Um, I would love to hear from you. If you're watching me live, you're going to see the um, live up at the top in that top corner. Um, if it's not there, you are watching the replay. All right, so we are Wednesday, May 26th. So that means that we are um, coming down to the end of the join special. Hello, Jeannie. Thanks for joining tonight. Um, I would love to welcome you to my Sassy Stampers family. Um, it is, you pay $135 Canadian. You get to choose $206 worth of products. Um, there is never any shipping on the uh, starter kit. And in a few provinces uh, like Ontario, there's no tax either. It is completely $206 worth of product. So just imagine how many fabulous items you could be purchasing. Hello, Diana. Thanks for joining. Thank you for sharing, Jeannie. I truly do appreciate it. Now, stay to the very end. I'm going to show you I was jumping for joy and squealing out loud today. I got my Maui pillow gifts. I was very surprised to receive them as we weren't uh, supposed to receive them until sometime in June, the email had said. So I want to show you all of the fabulous things that um, I got sent from Stampin' Up. So, okay, that is done. So tonight we are going to be using the Measure of Love. Yes, it was quick, Diana. Um, Measure of Love stamp set. The Stitched Greenery Die. Oh, this is so fabulous. If you haven't purchased this yet, um, get this on your wish list right now, as well as the Stitched So Sweetly dies. And then we are using Polished Pink and Coastal Cabana, as well as the Loose Flower Flourishes. Say that one three times fast. <laughs> oh my. All right, so let me just move this out of the way and bring in my sweet card. Um, so this stamp set has that dial for the scale um, right here. I didn't use it. I put this super cute little uh, flower flourish in the uh, polished pink on it instead. And on the inside I have stamped sweet friend love you more. And that's what I say to Diana all the time when she says love you and I say love you more. I say that to Daniele or Danny as well. Hello Anne, thanks for joining. So here are all my pieces and I have an extra piece cut just in case I mess up. Oh, and I forgot. I'm also gonna be coloring with my light and dark smoky slate. So I have not um, embossed this yet. I wanna show you that, but first we want to get stamping. So I've got a piece of grid paper here because I stamped off um, my Coastal Cabana and my Polished Pink because I didn't want it quite as bright as, oh, and then you know what? I forgot to put the scale on a, on a stamp um, block. My goodness. Um, I've not been sleeping well at all, so I'm a little sleep deprived. So, hold please while I grab a block. 
Yes, I am sleep deprived, so I'm finding I'm very scattered, and I don't know why I'm not sleeping well. Um, I just can't seem to shut that brain down at night. So, uh, yeah. <laughs> All right. So we are going to be using the um, Memento, Tuxedo Black Memento ink. And we are going to ink this up. I got all of my um, planting done both here and at the cottage. I planted um, my veggie garden at the cottage. So fingers crossed my peppers and tomatoes and basil and parsley come up as well as lettuces. I planted some lettuce in pots here as well as parsley and basil because I love, uh, there's a dish I make called um, linguine with basil parsley pesto. I've been making it for years. And so I have two pots of um, the parsley and uh, basil out on my deck. And I planted some leaf lettuce as well that I picked up. And tonight we had um, chicken sandwiches for the second night in a row. So I put the uh, fresh, I ran outside and grabbed, hopefully that's low enough, <laughs> grabbed a few pieces of the fresh lettuce. Oh, so delicious. Oh, look at that. I lined it up. Woohoo! <laughs> you just never know when you're not quite over top if you're going to get it lined up. You just made pesto fettuccine for supper last night. Oh, I'm going in and out. My sound is. Oh, I'm so sorry. Does anybody else have that problem? Hmm. Yeah, last night I did um, the, the chicken breast. I had marinated it with um, the juice of half a fresh lemon. And uh, I didn't measure, I just squeezed it into the Ziploc bag. So fresh lemon and um, hold my breath here for a second. Fresh lemon, olive oil, um, a clove of fresh garlic, minced, some oregano dried, and um, a little bit of olive oil. So my chicken marinated in that, and then I made up for the very first time my um, first attempt at um, garlic aioli. Oh my gosh, was that ever delicious. And that was super easy as well. It was like half a cup of mayonnaise, two small cloves of garlic, um, the other half of my fresh lemon squeezed in there, and some um, little bit of sea salt is what we use here. And then a little bit of olive oil. And I put that on a toasted bun with the chicken breast and I cut our chicken breasts in half. So um, that's why we had it two nights in a row. Oh wow, so delicious and fresh. Yummy. Your YouTube was weird today. Di, yeah, I watched your YouTube. Um, I didn't notice that it was weird. All right, so let me just bring this down just a smidge so I can look over that. Yeah, so if you want me to post 
what my ingredients were for either of those, just ask in the comments and I will um, type out what it was that I all put in there. But wow, so delicious. I was like patting myself on the back with uh, how well it turned out. Oh, this is looking so cute. So cute. I was also today working on, um, I want to offer a stamp camp. I am running way behind. Um, the end of June using the super adorable, um, you're a peach, or sorry, sweet as a peach um, stamp set. So be looking for information on that to come. All right, so this should be dry enough. Yes, please, Jeannie, you'd like that. I love lemon, I love fresh lemon, so um, I generally have a lemon in my fridge. I put it in water as well, but um, very tasty for sure. All right, so I'm just going around here, this one side here with my dark smoky slate. And my tummy is making all kinds of gurgly noises. I do apologize if you can hear it. <laughs> all right, so now my light smoky slate. So I'm gonna come in here and blend out that line. Yeah, I've made three, I'm on my third project for my stamp camp with the Sweet as a Peach. Oh my gosh, I'm just loving that set. So I'll have information within the next couple days on that. And before I forget as well, thank you so much for all of the um, messages and uh, cards that I have received for my birthday. My birthday was fabulous. And I truly do appreciate all your well wishes. I've never minded my birthday, so um, I'm not one of those people that doesn't want to tell you how old they are or anything. I think I'm holding up okay. <laughs> there are days that um, I feel like twice my age when I'm crawling out of that bed, but uh, for the most part, I feel pretty darn good. I certainly don't feel like I'm already past halfway through my 50s. We golfed on um, Monday. I golfed terribly. Um, it was my first 18 of the year, but um, it was so nice to be out there and be able to spend that time with Damon. Damon came with Brad and I, but holy smokes, was I ever tired afterwards. Just totally exhausted me, because as I always say to my guys, I take way more swipes at that ball than you guys do. We're golfing again on Saturday, later on in the morning. First I have at 9 a.m. Um, a mega team training that I'm doing with um, a group of demonstrator friends. So that is going to be super fun. So there we have, not fancy or anything, but super cute. We have that. So now let's take, oh, but you know what? I'm 
Oh, no, I'm not. I thought, I'm missing a piece, but no, I'm not. It goes that way. All right. Ignore me. Like I said, I'm tired, so I'm scattered. So please forgive me. All right. So this here, we are just going to, let's see, can I get it here? Let me move my stamp and cut emboss machine. All right, so, and thank you for all of the birthday orders that I got as well with my birthday special last week that I had. Um, I really, really appreciate it. And Jeannie, who is on here, won the Stampin' Cut and Boss machine, the mini one that I had as my ordering incentive and it got mailed out today. My vehicle was at the dealership all day yesterday. My air conditioning stopped working last Thursday. So it was in at the Ford dealership all day. And then I picked it up um, last night because, and it's not fixed. So look at that guys. Isn't that so fabulous? Oh, it is so cool what it does. Yeah, so my air conditioning is not working. And of course, it's not under warranty anymore. So, um, she, uh, the receptionist there said that they would uh, contact Ford Canada to see if they couldn't, I can't find my, I don't have my silicone craft sheet here, so let's hope that I don't get glue everywhere. Um, that Ford Canada, as it was just out of the warranty, if they wouldn't cover part of it. And yay, they are covering a portion, so it's not gonna be, it's gonna be expensive, but not quite as expensive, but air conditioning in a vehicle, especially when it was so been so hot here in southwestern Ontario the humidity is just bleh. so the part is coming from the United States and it could take with shipping up to a week um, hello Marie hello Stephanie hello Rebecca uh, Marie, you love sweet as a peach. Oh, it is. I'm just having so much fun creating with it. So there we have. Isn't that so pretty? And aren't those colors together just wow? Yeah, so my um, the part is going to be a while. So they will call when it is in. And then I bring my, my vehicle back in. So... Yeah, so that is why, that's the long <laughs> drawn out, why I didn't get to the post office yesterday to mail Jeannie her stamp and cut and boss machine. So, but it is on its way to her now. All right, so now, oh, I've got coffee spill on there. Oops. <laughs> Oh, goodness, guys. All right, so we are going to um, stamp our sentiment on the inside. Sweet friend, love you more. All right, so I am going to start with this first. Sweet friend. And I'm wondering how I can get rid of that coffee spot. I'm gonna put my thinking cap on. And then love you more. And then we need those hearts. And here we go. And put that. Ta 
da, the inside is almost, almost as lovely as the out. Not quite as I've got a little coffee spot there. I'm wondering if my sand eraser might Oh, and you know what? It is lightening it up a bit. Yes, I do drink coffee while I'm crafting in the morning, so, and cutting. All right, that's a little lighter. I can live with it. Okay, so then we are going to glue, don't need that. We're gonna glue this layer inside. So this is the, I think this is the largest stitched so sweetly um, scalloped rectangle die. And then I have just cut my cardstock, my thick basic white to sit inside. A good spot for a cupcake, yes. Yes, we'll see what else I can do. <laughs> we shall see what else I can do before I um, pop this in the mail to anybody. All right, so get my dimensional backings off. And center that. that looks like it's pretty straight. Now we're gonna put a dot of glue because these are not adhesive backed. So, and then the, the putty end of the take your pick tool and Pick that up. It's easier, I find, to use my putty and to pick that up rather than my fingers. So there we have that super cute card. So these are so adorable. They've got the two different sizes. I think I've shown you before in the in color, so we've got the lovely, or sorry, the polished pink, oh my goodness. Yeah, polished pink, um, fresh freesia, and uh, pale papaya are our three colors, but see how tiny that is? So cute. Now you know, although then it's not gonna close right, but that would totally sit there <laughs> on my little oopsie. All right, so that is tonight's card. I hope you guys like that. All right, so let me clean this up really quickly and stick around if you're wanting to see all of my fabulous um, pillow gifts from the uh, Maui incentive trip. So Stampin' Up! Um, an incentive trip. Stampin' Up! Um, rewards their demonstrators who um, meet a certain sales criteria, um, as well as you get points for your team um, doing well as well. So, um, I haven't um, earned a whole bunch of them. I've only earned two as I am just building my business now, um, I earned Greece and I've earned Maui. So I'm in the process of trying to earn next year's trip. Um, so it's always a one week where stamp trip where Stampin' Up! pays for um, the demonstrator plus a guest to either do the cruise or this time was Maui. A resort in Maui um, because of COVID I cashed out and so I'm getting my um, 
I got my pillow gifts. We didn't think we were going to get them till later. So I got this giant box. Um, when I came back from picking up Maisie. Um, so let me just, I'm going to bring you up slightly. I was so excited. Like I said, I was squealing. I was like, oh my gosh, it's here. It's here. Wow. Because uh, I got a shipping notification at 8.30 this morning saying that, from UPS, saying that I had something coming from Hawaii. And I was like, wow. I thought that they told us that it wasn't until um, June that we'd be getting it. So this fabulous sun hat that has Maui, nice and big for protecting me from the sun. Okay, and then, um, I don't want to throw this on the floor. Let's put that on top of the stamp and cut emboss. All right, so I have this giant, all right, so this is how, how I did it. I put it all in the bag that I uh, got, and then, all right, so we have a gorgeous beach towel that says Stampin' Up, and you know me, I love my Stampin' Up logo wear, so yippee, and it's got these fun tassels on it. I hope I'm high enough for you guys. All right, so, and then it says, I don't know, I don't know if Di's on here still. Hello, Mary. Um, como mai, I don't know what that means. Oh, here, welcome, a Hawaiian greeting. I don't know if I've said that right, a como mai, I'm not sure. All right, so then we've got some new catalog products that I'm going to be sharing with you as well. Come from the upcoming, I'm just pulling all my stuff out here, the upcoming holiday catalog. I know we just got our annual catalog and we're talking about the holiday catalog, but well, it's not called the holiday catalog, but it will forever be the holiday catalog to me. Then we got a um, a lined um, cooler bag, so perfect for when we're up at the cottage, going to go to the beach, although last year I didn't go at all. Um, Brad and Danny went down, but with me being so afraid of the crowds and being safe in that, so I did not go, but if you're going to go on a picnic or anything like that, that's a fabulous bag. Then this is the fun, look at those pink um, accents on the handle and the, ta the tassels. And then this beautiful shell um, tag that says Maui, Stampin' Up. And then Halikala, and that means House of the Sun. I used to be a sun worshiper, but not anymore. The sun and I no longer get along. So we've got a nice pouch there, it's beautiful. Okay, and then, look at that. I'm very happy about that sunscreen. I'm always needing more sunscreen because I go through this stuff. So 50, so yay, I've been using 60. I like the big clip on it too. And then this is so fun. Look at that. A knife, a fork, and a spoon. And look at this side, the, the shape of this spoon. That is so cool. I was like, wow, that is really neat. Okay, and then where is my other box here? So then we have, Brad hasn't even seen this. I just told him that I had gotten um, my uh, pillow gifts. So thank you for your support. And inside we have a solar charger that says Stampin' Up! And it's got a... Um, 
I forget what are these called. Hello, Lisa. Yay, I got the cut. Yes, the pink was made for me. Absolutely. I was like, oh, look at that. So, yeah, this solar charger that also has a USB. So, when we go hiking, we like to go up to the Bruce Trail and hike that on our family holidays. Although we didn't do it last year because of COVID. So, we're hoping this year on family holidays we'll be able to go hiking again. So, that'll be kind of cool. All right. And then... Uh, who? who? I, <laughs> I do apologize. <laughs> oh, goodness. Until we meet again, I am really terrible at um, <laughs> pronunciation. <laughs> and I do apologize. And then, made by Mary with love. And look at that necklace. Oh, just gorgeous with that very dainty chain. Oh, it is so pretty. Love it. I'm so happy that I got that necklace. I was, um, last night when I was watching Di's video, I was commenting on how pretty her necklace was because she, uh, she had it on. Okay, so... New holiday catalog. So you're not going to see any of this stuff for a little while. Uh, demonstrators, we can order it in July. And it goes live in August. It was supposed to be um, order in June live for customers in July. But COVID has caused a bunch of shipping notification, um, shipping delays. So um, they've bumped everything back. So this is going to go live for customers in August. Um, and Di and I, our um, fall so social, we will be um, focusing on products from the holiday mini catalog. Woohoo! I'm excited for that. So, this is a background stamp. Super cute. And look at how raised up they are. I don't know if there'll be a die to go with that or not, but so fun. All right, so that is Candy Canes. Then Heartfelt Wishes. I love the font on that. Again, that's a cling set. Pretty Pillow Box Dies. Oh, I am so excited for this. I was very sad when Stampin' Up! retired their pillow box a few years back. Okay, so hello, Lisa. Thanks for joining um, pillow box die. So this, oh, look at the size of that. That is so lovely. And it's one die that you're going to fold over and we've got some, a uh, label and a tag. Oh, so pretty. Poinsettia. Wow. I'm looking forward to playing with that. I may end up pulling this out and using it um, for um, pillow gifts for my um, Sweet as a Peach stamp camp. We shall see. That's got my, um, my mind just uh, racing with ideas. All right, look at this new gorgeous uh, pool party. Striped grosgrain ribbon, very nice. And then I've got some fun DSP. So in here we've got this is painted Christmas 12 by 12 designer series paper. I got to see the um, online version of the holiday catalog. <gasps> oh my goodness. Oh, you didn't get this greeting set. This one here, Di, you didn't get that one. But you got to spin the wheel, so you got even more. Yeah, this is Much Gratitude Sending Love. Oh, I really like it from our family to you and yours. 
This is a really nice set. So demonstrators can pre-order this um, in July from this catalog. So seasonal labels. All right, so let's open this up. Miss Maisie got a haircut today. Woo -woo. I'm so excited for that. Oh, look at them all. Wowzers. That is awesome. All right, so that's probably going to go with, oh, this says Ohana. And this means family. We're so glad you're part of our Stampin' Up! family. I watched one after I got my uh, first COVID shot, I watched Finding Ohana on uh, Netflix because I was on the couch for the day because I did not feel good after that shot. So I don't know, does this go with this? Seasonal, Christmas season? I'm thinking yes. Yes, so we've got your um, pine cones and we've got, this probably goes with this. I'm, let's open this up. All right, so this is photopolymer. Let's just peel. There we go. All right, so yes. So this die cuts that. And I'm thinking that's probably going to be die cutting some of this paper. So um, we've got some slit dies here and here so that you could uh, cut the slits in your um, label dies to uh, wind your ribbon through so that you can attach ribbon through it. That'll be fun. Hello, Tammy. How are you? Thanks for joining. Hello, Kathy. It was a spinner. You got a different one, Diana. All right, so let's open this designer series paper. Let me get my snips. All right, and see what this designer series paper looks like. Oh, my ribbon just fell off the chair. So you bet when I go down to the beach, I'll be displaying my Stampin' Up! bag and towel so that maybe I can start a conversation with somebody. Um, somebody saying, hey, Stampin' Up! What is that? And I'll be like, why, yes, I am a demonstrator and I would love to uh, give you a catalog if you're interested and uh, tell you all about what I love to do. <laughs> all right, so beautiful paper. Oh, look at that. All right, so our colors are Calypso Coral, Cherry Cobbler, Crumb Cake, Early Espresso, Evening Evergreen, Garden Green, Pear Pizzazz, Real red, soft sea foam, and soft succulents. So we've got one, two, three, four, five greens in here. Wow. But this paper, this print here, oh, is so pretty. I really like that. And this is definitely the opposite side. Side B is definitely not seasonal. I can see using this for a variety of other uh, projects. Oh, this is pretty. Our uh, pine cones and greenery. And side B, oh, I love the splatter. Side A. Okay. And side B, lovely. Your, you never used yours. Your dressmaker mannequin has the purse and hat on. <laughs> now, I'll be using mine. I do have a big sun hat that I got last year, but um, I love to advertise my business. So, I really, I keep, I've told you before, soft sea foam is my favorite green. So, I love that pattern. 
love the pine cones. Oh, look at that. Very nice. And then we've got, so I got three packages of designer series paper. Oh, so pretty. I can see using this for, um, it's very soft and subtle, I think, w um, with a sympathy sentiment or a thinking of you sentiment. This would be very nice with that. I love finding ways to use designer series paper um, in ways other than what um, the name says. So if it's a holiday one, I like to find other ways to use it to make your dollars go further. Oh, I love that they've added some, um, a little bit of pinky tone in there. Very nice. And oh, look at that. So fun. All right, so that is that paper. Let's just move you out of the way. Look at this. I was just like, oh, I'm so excited for it when I saw that I got this because I watched Diana last night on her um, video and I was drooling at this. I love puppies and kitties. I'm just, I'm a huge fur baby person. So this is called Sweet Stockings. Basic black, bumblebee, cherry cobbler, cinnamon cider, evening evergreen, old olive, and pool party. So I love my fur babies. I love all dogs and cats. All sorts of furry creatures. Um, so this stuff is right up my alley. We had a golden retriever years and years ago. She was our first dog. Um... So cute. And then Tabby Cat in here. Cute little mouse. So fun. No, I don't need a kid. We have a kitty here, remember, Di? It's called he's called Marshall. <laughs> da, da, um, Danny's kitty. We are we have two dogs and a cat. So um, when Danny and her fur babies move out, then it would just be Maisie here. <laughs> oh, look at how gorgeous that looks together. Wow. Yeah, I told Brad when I saw your mom's kitties, the pictures that um, Jackie posted, the, I have a soft spot for orange kitties. Um, my Mr. Beasley was an orange kitty, but both of her orange kitties were female. So I was like, whew, dodged a bullet there. Because if they had have been male, then I would have been, it would have been pulling on my heartstrings. But both of the orange kitties were, were uh, girls. But anyhow, look at how fun is this. Look at this cat's expression. <laughs> <laughs> he's really not impressed so sweet oh I love this stuff oh and look at him here he is again he's really not impressed whereas the dog is like you can do anything to a dog basically they don't care they're happy whereas a cat is like what do you think you're doing to me all right, and then we've got a little parakeet in there with the male. Cute. Oh, look at that. This paper is so fabulous. Oh, look at this. Remember when we had stocking set um, a few years back? I loved it with the dyes. Oh, that is so nice. I love the colors. I wonder if we're going to have a dye that will cut that out. Ooh, look at that. Wow, that is so nice. And looking at it in the catalog or online is not quite the same as when you see it in real. That is green. I'm looking at my iPad screen and it looks black, but it is green. Oh, there's the Corgi. And look, there's Marshall. Wait till I show Danny that Marshall made it to the paper. <laughs> And then there's the goldfish. 
So cute. So cute. Oh, a nice stripe there as well. Oh, this is such nice paper. And then we've got our Christmas light bulbs. Oh, oh, I really like that one. So nice. All right, so my last, oh, I've got two more things to show. My last package of designer series paper, if my sister Carol was on here, she would be, wow, it is Halloween. Oh, it's so cute. Look at the ghosties. They're so adorable. This one, winking with a little um, um, wand. So cute. All right, so cute Halloween. Uh, Designer Series paper is basic black, flirty flamingo, highland heather, old olive, and pumpkin pie. Oh, I love Halloween. Oh, my sister Carol really decorates for Halloween. Hello, Brenda. Thanks for joining. All right, so. This, these guys are so cute, so cute. So we've got, so one, two, three, four, five. Oh yay, six sheets, yay. I love it when we get lots, so that way you've got enough to do classes and stuff like that. Oh, how cute, oh. Oh, I hate it when they make both sides so fun. <laughs> it makes it so hard to decide. I love this boo, but I love these guys. Oh, I'm going to have to buy multiple packages of this. So cute. Oh, look at these guys. So super cute. So you haven't seen um, what this looks like then, Di, if you pick the Christmas. <gasps> Oh, and candy corn. Oh, so cute. Pumpkins and kitties. Oh, look at that black and white stripe with a little bit of distress flecking. Super cute. Oh, fun polka dots. Oh, black and white candy. Oh, I like that pattern too. I really, oh, this designer series paper, oh my gosh, look at these bats. Ah, oh, they're so cute. Oh my gosh. <laughs> I love things that make me giggle and this stuff is just too sweet. Oh my, with the little fangs. Oh. So cute. You lost me, Tammy. Oh, hopefully uh, go out and come back in. Oh, this, they're so sweet. Okay, and the other side is just plain black. But, oh, look at that. So adorable. And I love that it's a pink background. <laughs> oh, look at the orange and black. Oh, wow. I don't know who the artist is that did this pattern, but wow, you knocked it out of the ballpark. I am loving this stuff. So fun. Oh, look at these skulls. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. They are cute. And again, they've got rosy cheeks. So adorable. Ooh, I like that pattern too. That would be great on a masculine card. And we've got, we're almost done the paper. So we've got some black houses on old olive with little ghosties and moons. Oh, look at the back side. So sweet. Oh, 
loving this. All right, and our last is this fun stripe that absolutely does not scream Halloween. It can be used for anything. And then the opposite is scribbles. Cute. Reminds me of like kitty fur, Marshall fur that's all over my office. <laughs> So that is the Halloween. Hello, Cindy. Thanks for joining. That's the Halloween paper. That is the cute Halloween. And oh my goodness, perfect name. Super duper cute. All right. And then the last thing I have is this Merry Melody 3D embossing folder. So if you are musically inclined and love musical things, then this will be right up your alley. Let's see, where is, which one was just straight black on the background? This one. So let's put you behind there. So look at that, guys. Wow. Very nice. I wonder if this is an actual, from an actual song, like Deck the Halls or whatever. Wow, very, very nice. Okay, so that is all. Jeff spent that day and picked the stocking. Nice. All right, so guys, that is it for me for today. So remember about the joining special if you'd like more information. If you live in Canada and would like more information from me, please reach out. Um, Stampin' with Marcy, it's marcy at stampinwithmarcy.com is my email. Um, if you're shopping my online store, please use this month's host code if your order is under $200. All of it was super. Yes, Jeannie, all of it was super. It just, I can't believe it. I cannot believe all of that gorgeous product I got. All right, so as well, um, be looking for... Um, some more information to come about uh, Sweet as a Peach. Um, I love this so much that I didn't want to just do a class. I wanted to include more product. So I'm going to do a stamp camp. And it's going to be on Saturday, June the 26th. So um, I will be, uh, once I get my um, stuff, the rest of my stuff um, designed, I like to design first. I like to have in mind what I am going to be doing and then I like to share with you give you a little sneak peek to um, entice you to sign up for my classes so you can be anywhere in Canada and take part in my classes um, it'll sh my class if you're not local will ship anywhere in Canada and you can join in through zoom for this class this is going to be a zoom one so anyway, that is it for me tonight. Have a fabulous night, everybody, and I will see you soon. Bye for now.